It is one thing to recognize one of the strengths of our communities, which is people are always really willing to step up and lend a hand. It's another thing to recognize that making sure that uh, that is coordinated, that that's actually helping, that all the different things get done, requires more than just a desire to help. It requires a desire uh, to listen to each other, to lean on each other, uh, to work together, and that really is when you look at all the different uh, organizations and communities and agencies that come together uh, to serve, uh, to help communities in times of difficult, difficulty, really is a reflection of the strength of this community and this area. I know uh, this community went through uh, difficult times in 2013 with the floods then. Uh, this year, of course, uh, much worse. Uh, and, and unfortunately, we know uh, there are going to be continued uh, more extreme weather events in the, com in the coming years. So, uh, the strength and the commitment that you all showed in stepping up uh, to respond to this, uh, the learnings that happen, and the ability to respond ever better uh, to challenges is really a demonstration of the resilience of this community. This is who we are. When our neighbors are in trouble, when we're facing difficulties, we step up, we support them, and none more than those on the front lines in various organizations, uh, whether it's uh, fire, emergency rescue, uh, Red Cross, community organizations, municipal leadership, city. Uh, operations and leaderships. All of you do an extraordinary job, and it is one of the best things about my job to be able to come around and say thank you uh, collectively and personally. Thank you for all you do to make Canada and your communities better. Uh, on, on apprécie énormément. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much.